Social media makes us promises that are very hard to refuse, that you'll always be heard, you can put your attention wherever you want it to be, that you never will be alone. But each of these promises come with cost. Why are people sharing data? By choice, by circumstance, or by coercion. By choice are all of the folks who realize that if they share information, they get something back. At the moment, I give my data to Google. Google gives me some search services. And that's absolutely fine, because the worst that happens, I get an ad that's targeted at me and is targeted at my behavior. At the absolute opposite end of the spectrum, you have people who have their data taken away from them over and over again without any ability to consent to this. Most people live in a world of data by circumstance. They just want to talk to their friends on Instagram. They want it to not be a big deal. And what they really hope is that they won't get screwed on the other end. But I don't actually know the worth of my data. What am I worth to Google? And that's where the issue of transparency and value exchange starts to become really interesting. We're at a cusp moment on some of the questions about privacy and permanence. People are moving to small group messaging versus sort of very public. So those are signs that people are concerned about their sort of digital fingerprint. At the same time, I think there are gaps in that still. At some point, somebody is going to abuse our data in such a way that it suddenly highlights it. And people will start to say, hang on, you're not allowed to know that stuff about me. Most people have no power in this ecosystem. Their only power is the possibility of walking away, and that means walking away from their friends, walking away from information ecosystems. Staying online is a way of giving ourselves the feeling that we can be in control of the too much data that's coming in. But we're, we're kidding ourselves. We've got filter bubbles where we expose to things that are algorithmically selected for us and that tend to reinforce our existing belief systems, wants and desires. Old media made it far more likely that we would serendipitously encounter ideas that could be good for us. Children who have a mobile device frame their self-identity in a completely different way than the previous generation. They make friends in the digital media, learn and play through the digital media. Having a converging between the physical world and digital world, the way they actually interact and see themselves will be completely different. They have a much more bigger world they can explore, bigger horizon, bigger opportunities, and bigger freedom.